Good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. I want to thank God again for the opportunity that he's afforded me. Just to be able to come before you and also to encourage you and build you up so that as you are going to work this morning, you can be able to find something that you can glean on, think on, uh, you know, think about and just put into practice what you will have learned this morning. It's my prayer that this very seed that is being planted in your spirit will not be choked. That which God desires to do in your life will not be curtailed. Nothing will impede or act as an encumbrance to that which God wants to do for you this year. As you launch out into the deep, it's my prayer that you shall get a great catch in Jesus' name. We began with the first day as we talked about God being interested with the person. And as he's interested with the person, he's not only interested with him as an individual, but also with that which he does. And so we also realize that God is interested with your boat as a platform. And by giving Jesus your boat, it means you give him a priority in your life. And there are always benefits when you give, when you make God a priority in your life. And because of that decision that Peter was able to make by allowing Jesus to come into his boat and use it as a platform, Christ was simply trying to tell Peter now, you can be able to launch out for profits. You can be able to launch out for profits. The book of Luke chapter number 5, verse number 4 to 6, the Bible says, When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And, they went, and when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets was breaking. My desire today is for you not to give up on God. I know you have toiled for a long time. I know there's a lot that you have been doing. You have not been able to see things coming along, but this time around, God is saying, if you can be able to take him at his word, then you will be earmarked for profits. You'll be earmarked for a great catch. The Bible says very clearly that Peter was washing his nets. And this is because he thought it was all over. He thought he was finished. Nothing was working at that time. He had been toiling all night and, 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 and he caught nothing. Nothing happened. He, and, and he decided, I think I'm going to call this quits. I'm going to bundle up everything and close down shop and leave. And there are some of us who reach this particular place and when you've toiled and toiled and toiled and you've reached a place whereby you're not seeing nothing, you normally give in to the urge to quit and you end up throwing in the towel. You say, I'm quitting the job. I'm through with it. This thing is not working. I'm done with the business. I'm washing my nets. But the Lord sent me here to tell somebody who is watching me to come and tell you that it's, 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 it's not all about you. There's something that God desires to do in your life beyond your toiling. And he's trying to tell you today, you don't need to give up. Don't waste your disappointments. I want you to keep on working hard. Keep writing a new story. Because failing once does not mean you're always a failure. And if it was so, then sleeping in a garage would have made you to be a car. God told me to come and tell you very clearly that you need to launch out for profits. And when you launch out for profits, you've got to defy the urge to quit. He doesn't want you to give up yet. He's about to do uh, you know, a new thing in your life if you can only be able to trust him and go a little bit deeper into the water. I came to tell someone here that God is saying this morning as you go to work, as you're about to append your signature on that resignation letter, as you're about to jot down an email and tell them that you're tired of working with them, the Lord told me to come and tell you stop washing your nets. You may think it's over, but it's not over until God says it is over. 
He's telling you, you need to launch out into the deep. And I know some of you are coming back to God and you're telling God, I tried everything I could. I tried everything I could with this child. Lord, I can't stand this woman. I can't stand this man. I can't stand this pastor. I can't stand my boss. I can't stand this supervisor. And God is saying to you, I want you to go deeper. I want you to go deeper in me. I want you to go deeper in prayer. I want you to go deeper in worshiping me. I want you to go deeper in praising me. As you go deeper in me, you will discover some things about you and about me uh, that has never been brought to the fore yet. This command to be able to go deeper is faith in action because faith demands a corresponding action. And so to go deeper, he's telling you, I want you to launch at, into the deep. I want you to go deeper into something that hasn't been working. And, 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 and I know a majority of you normally say that I don't, I don't mind going deeper when everything is good. But I don't understand why I should go deeper when things are not working out. And, and some of you are, sit, are watching me today. You're seated by your bed today and you're listening to me. Some of you are in an Uber. Some of you have just logged in into your office right now. You just got into your office and, and, and logged into YouTube and, and, and Facebook. And you're saying, Jesus, I, I know you're telling me to lounge out into the deep. I know that's what you're telling me. But Jesus, I already invested my energy I've been investing my time. I've used my knowledge. I did all I know how to do, but the business still went under. I dropped out of school, went for a pre and, uh, and post marital counseling, and I still got a divorce by the end of it all. I got pregnant even after having kept myself for a while. You're telling yourself, I got, I ended up getting a nervous breakdown because I never saw the blessing coming as much as I anticipated I found myself in depression and now you want me to go deeper child of God what God has for you is in the deep your blessing is in the deep your next face in life is in the deep your next level is in the deep it's, it, it's not at the shallow end where you are used to God doesn't want you to be mediocre. God wants you to live above. God want, doesn't want you to live beneath your privilege. God doesn't want you to be like a second class citizen in the kingdom of God. God wants you to live at that particular level whereby he kept you. Just because your story is not what you hoped for, it doesn't mean that this is all there is. God is asking today, why are you washing your nets at a time that I'm calling you into the deep? And in order for Peter to be able to go out into the deep, he had to fight through everything that his experience said about that situation. And I need you to know today that God is about to give you something for which you have no reference point. You've never seen anybody going to fish during the day. But God is asking you to do so. You, 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 you hear of people having certificates, but God is asking you to apply that job where they need someone who's got a master's level. Because you, you don't know what God can be able to do. His ways are not your ways. His, his, his thoughts are not your thoughts. Sometimes you might have a glimpse of what he might do, but you're not in control of everything. Your ability to think that you've got control is an illusion because total control belongs to the sovereign God. And I know what God is telling you to do this morning is going against everything in your background. And you're wondering, God, can I be able to trust you? Can I be able to take this? It's not going to make any sense to me to ask me to launch out into the deep during the day. I've already been embarrassed by the rest of the people looking at me because I failed this time round. And you want me to do something that they know even in class they never read about it. Uh, there's nobody who's ever written about it. There's nobody who's ever tried something like this to launch out into the deep for a catch. When it's during the day, all of you know that the fish is totally gone and you're asking me to launch out into the deep. Everything. I know everything in your experience is, say, is saying it doesn't work that way. And listen to me, child of God. If you can be able to take God at his word, then it shall surely come to pass. I 
came to push someone here and tell somebody, stop washing your nets. God is not finished with you yet. God is not through blessing you yet. God is not through fixing you, child of God. God is not through molding you. God is not through moving. He's a progressive God. He still has got a lot in store for you. You are about to get into a brand new dimension. Stop washing your nets and launch out into the deep for profits. What am I trying to tell you? God is going to use what you have put away. He's saying, get your nets back. Stop washing them. Get your nets back for a catch. Get your vision back. Get your dream back. Get your fight back. Get your business back. Get your family back. Get your joy back. You need to get your strength back. Get your enthusiasm back and don't wash your nets. All you need to do is that his word launch out into the deep for a great catch. I know I'm speaking to someone here and I feel like taking power and authority this morning. If you allow me, I know it's a morning devotion, but I feel like taking power and authority over that giving up spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of the Lord. I want to come against every I cannot do it spirit, every spirit of failure. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of procrastination in the name of the Lord. I I come against it and bind it in the name of Jesus and I pray over your life today that God will give you the tenacity and the audacity to defy all odds and launch out into the deep for profits. That's the decision that God wants you to make today. You can't be able to see it but you need to know that the one who created the heavens and the earth has appeared into the scene. The one who caused the fish to be, to be, to be created in the waters has appeared in the seen this God has got the ability to be able to bring total transformation in your life he is telling you to launch out into the deep for profit because he wants to move you from the crowd to become a crew so that you can be able to enjoy the profits Peter's decision and the resulting miracle reveal that a single act of obedience to Christ's command can change the course of of your entire life and when Peter chose to place his faith in the powerful word of God his life was never the same and you and I likewise have the opportunity to experience the miraculous power of God because we serve the same Jesus who spoke to Peter 2,000 years ago we have access to his written word and we have the promise of his faithfulness to be able to back us. Even when we are faithless, God is still faithful because he cannot be able to deny his word. I need you to understand as we come to the tail end of this devotion today that before anything great can be accomplished for Christ, we must make the decision to launch out at his command. Like Peter, our response to God's word will either invite his blessing and power or it will hinder it. I needed to know this morning that great things will happen only as we launch forward in our service to Christ. Without the spirit-led, spirit-filled action, our lives and ministries will become spiritually stagnant. Like Peter's disappointing night of fishing, our attempts to serve the Lord in our own strength, we yield empty nets every single time. But as we heed at Christ's commands, however, we will experience miracles that are made possible only by the hand of God. The question that I'm asking you this morning, are you ready to launch out into the deep for profits? You cannot serve God and move empty and come out empty. God is not unjust to forget your good works. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Launch out into the deep for profits. Don't wash your nets. 
your prophet is right there. Just when you're about to give up, God is saying, don't give up on me because I won't give up on you. I know the plans that I have for you. I've seen your future. I've already seen ahead of you. You're seeing straight, but I'm seeing around the corner. Child of God, loud shout into the deep for prophets. It is the God you see. That's the God you get. I need to tell you again. The God you see is the God you get. If you see the prophets by faith, you will get the prophets because he's the manufacturer of all this. Lord, I want to thank you for my brothers and sisters. Some of them have had a giving up spirit because they have tried all they could with their own strength, but it yielded to nothing. And they ended up coming, em coming out empty every single time. Some of them have had delayed experiences stagnated in one way or the other and they've been washing their nets over and over again because they don't see you they don't hear you they don't feel you but lord it is my prayer today that may you minister to them and touch them by your spirit let none of them have a giving up spirit but enable them to be bodacious enough to be able to see beyond their circumstance and trust and believe you that you are going to come through for them so dear Lord, I want to bless you and honor you for every viewer, for every listener, and for every person that connected with us. I pray that Lord, may you bless them with the blessings of Abraham and the blessings of Isaac and with the blessings of Jacob and open every door of opportunities for them in order for them to be able to get the great catch as they are trusting you, as they are launching out, as they are trying again, as they are believing again, let there be prophets for them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You better say amen and jot down an amen right there. See you tomorrow again. Same time, same place, same channel, same hour. And I believe that your life will never ever be the same again. Share with as many people as possible. We don't want nobody washing their nets. We want them to launch out into the deep for profits. God bless you.